Hey there everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist customers from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. Now, here with us today, we happen to have a Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, and this device does have the Google Account Lock enabled. As we can see here, as we're going through the setup process, we get to this screen that tells us that the device was reset, and to continue, we have to sign in with the same account that was previously on the device. And that's basically what the Google Account Lock, or the FRP Lock, as it's commonly known as, consists of. So basically back in around Android 5 or so, Google added the security feature to combat some of the theft and fraud that happens around mobile devices these days. So when a device is factory reset without first removing the account that's on it, it's then going to ask you to log into that same Google account again as a security measure after the factory reset is performed to ensure that the person trying to get back in is the same original owner of the device. So we've been contacted by tons of customers asking us to help us with this specific problem on this specific model ever since it came out. And we're making this video to let any interested customers know that we do offer a way to be able to get this type of lock removed from this specific model. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. And that's actually what we've been running here right uh, right here right now while the video has been running just so that you all can see the before and after proving that we can actually indeed remove the lock. So the program has finished running. You've seen the device just restart off of that off of the Google lock screen and after it fully boots up we should be able to see that we can then indeed get all the way through the setup process without seeing that lock. So this one just happens to be a Verizon model as you can see here but this will apply for all models of the S20 plus. Okay, so it's all fully set up and ready to go. Let me help you get... I'm going to go ahead and turn that voice off because we really don't need that. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions and then keep going through. And actually, we don't need to activate this device, so I'm going to go ahead and pull out the SIM card that's in it because that will make things a little easier. Okay, so then we're just going to skip the whole phone activation section here. And we actually won't need Wi-Fi either, so we can actually just go ahead and turn that off. There we go, and we're going to skip and keep going, and it's going to ask us about transferring data, and we don't need to do that, and then we're going to agree to the Google services, and we don't need a screen lock, so we can skip that. We don't need the Verizon services either, and we don't need a Samsung account. There's so many steps going through. Okay, there we go. We're all the way through the setup process. We have access to the home screen here on all apps and features and settings. So the lock is fully removed from this device and it's just like it was never there. While we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the settings and just show you exactly again which model this is. So it's a Galaxy S20 Plus, and then of course they all have the 5G enabled. And then that model number there, the G986U, that is the model number of all of the US models of the S20 Plus, no matter which carrier it's originally sold from. Samsung uses the same model number now for US models because they're all pretty much universal when it comes to both hardware and software. So if you have a Galaxy S20 Plus and need help getting the Google account lock removed, we would love to help you out with that, so go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact information will be right down in the video description, and I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all of the details there as well. While you're here, make sure to check out some of the other videos that we have on our channel as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different models, and I'm sure you'll find something there that could come in handy. If you hit the subscribe button while you're there, that'll be that will ensure that you're notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanohablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.